Welcome to the island of Crete, as the Greek will call it, Crete. Okay, so come along with me today as I take you to the port of Suda, where you have the ferry boat that takes you around the Greek islands. Come along with me and let us do this. Now, if you love contents like this, you can subscribe. It's a teen of choice. And turn on your notification bell also. Okay, so if you are visiting Greece, get into the capital city, Athens. You have the option of traveling by ferry boats or taking a plane. If you are a bourgeois, so much money, you want to hire a helicopter to take you to the islands, you can also do that. The choice is yours. Beautiful country, fun place, so just do what you love. But some persons love traveling by boat, so getting to Athens, the capital city, then you book your ticket, depending on what island you want to visit or what part you want to go to. You can also book a flight from Athens to Crete, okay, the island of Crete, or whichever island you're going to, Santorini, Mykonos, Corfu, Rhodes, the rest of them. I can just keep naming them. So, if you are traveling by boat, they have the Blue Star Ferries, they have Anek Line, they have Minoan Palace, and many more. Okay, so come along with me as we go to the port. You see for yourself Blue Star Ferries and the other two that I mentioned, which is Minoan Palace and Anek Line. Okay, so some persons love traveling by ferry because it is fun, you know. You just book your ticket, you can get a room to relax if you want to and just, you know, leave your stops there, walk around the boat, go to the restaurant, um, go to the bar, have a drink, go from the first deck to the second to the third to the top, you know, just sitting outside having that view while the boat is leaving from the mainland to the island. So people just love that trip. They take photos, they vlogs, like content creators, and you know, tourists, they just do what they want to do. They are on holidays. They are to just, this is time that they want to just relax and free their mind. So most of them are not in a hurry to just fly all the way from whichever country they are coming from. And when they get to Greece, some of them just like, okay, let me just wind down and take the ferry instead of flying again. Okay, so a lot of people love taking the ferry because it is lots of fun. You know, so many people, so many things to do and it, you just you just chill, you know. You, and you have the option of having a giant room to yourself depending on how much money you have in your pocket and what you're looking for. If you don't want to pay so much, then you can share room with four persons, three persons. They have all those options also. Okay, they have good food, they have drinks, they have Wi-Fi. So you can actually do your live streaming if you like uh, if that's what you want to do or you want to chat with your friends and family back home telling them that you've arrived in Greece but now you are taking a ferry you can do that okay so right here I am just standing in front of the Coast Guard office because we had to go sign some papers for our boat so hence we came to the port and I have to apologize here that because this video is not really full but I promise I will be able to film the uh, Port of Suda. Some other time when I have uh, so much time on my hands. On this day, I, we had like four or five places to stop. Uh, okay, so we started with the Coast Guard office to get the signature. Then we had other offices and other places we had to go. So it was just few minutes I had. I did my best showing you people few uh, boats. Uh, some of them you won't see very well on this video, but I promise you that my next vlog. That I will be showing you the port of Suda. I would do well to show you all the ferries. Right now, in front of me is the Blue Star Ferry. I guess this one just um, arrived. <laughs> you can see it is open, and some persons are inside, although you cannot see them, but they are to the right hand side there. And you can see one person just coming out now. Okay, so by the by the side here you see they have where they sell tickets and so on and so forth now because of the covid 19 and all of that you can see the area is not that busy if it's before you know before the pandemic the port used to be filled up so many cars people traveling up and down and also something else is during winter period the islands are more quiet you know less stories less people visiting so it is not as busy as it used to be during summer 
period so hence it's like this if i if i would visit this place in summer season you will see it littered with tourists everywhere waiting to board the uh, boat and another thing is during summer period the uh, ferries they leave during the day but in winter time they only leave at night okay so everybody book their tickets and then the boat leaves from the island of crete for example like this is in hania and they also have in heraclio and other area like i said to you the island of crete is big so they have different areas depending on what part of the island you are the south side the west side so on and so forth okay so that's what it is so right now you can see the boat is just here i'm getting distracted by my little one okay so like i said depending on where you're traveling from, and in winter season they leave at night like 10 o'clock nine o'clock at night that's when you see the boats leaving from hania to mainland athens but in summer season they go many times so you can catch the ninth one or you want the morning or the afternoon boat coming from athens to, uh, to crete or from crete to athens okay so have that in mind if you are visiting greece depending on the season that you are visiting okay so if you visit during winter period the fun is not as much as someone that will visit during uh the summer season because summer season is more you know bubbly and so many activities but the winter period is more toned down i think winter period the kind of tourists you see are mostly like elderly people that are willing to just leave their place and go chill somewhere else like just to change the environment those are the kind of people you see but in summertime you see both the students and everyone visiting the island okay so comment down below let me know what you think about the port of suda and i apologize for my little one <laughs> i'm recording this she's just following me around okay so that's mom's life what can i do all right all right all right so at this point we are done with what we came here for we left the office and we're going to the next place that we had to go so this is us driving out from the port of Suda okay so yes that's what we are doing right now okay all right so just follow along as we go out from Suda and head to the next stop okay and now trust me this is winter season like I tell you but you can see today the weather is clear and it's a bit sunny and um you know also cloudy but right now you can see that the sun is out so i quickly pulled out my camera to start filming you know <laughs> so yeah this this is what we get sometimes in the island you know the weather could be so good and some other time it could be just so horrible heavy wind storm rain uh just generally bad weather but today my lucky day <laughs> the weather was good okay so yeah that will be it for this video don't forget to comment and just let me know what you want to see if if there's something that you want to see let me know and remember that we have a playlist the island lifestyle so click on that playlist you will see all my vlogs if you're not that into um fitness stuff okay thank you